Hello, it's time for another tutorial uh, on using the open beta for Fractal Architect for iOS. Uh, it will, by the way, don't have that name when it's ready because you can't have iOS in the app name. Um, it remains to be seen what it will be called. Uh, if you hear some sounds here, it's just for my family doing usual family stuff like playing electric guitar and fetching some water and stuff like that uh, this time uh, i want to make a tutorial on making fractals from scratch so let's start new fractal we go to files we go new 2d fractal you will see a pretty boring square let's go into the x form editor we have two transforms and they actually contain no variations at all now. A good po starting point to making fractals from scratch is to start with a uh, Julia. Like that you don't have to start with the Julia, but it's a good starting point. You get this J Julia ring. Now you can start to experiment on the second uh, transform here let's try to add something I don't know what we will add um, let's let's add a, a Julian like that and nothing seems to be happening here so we go to the second transform and we go to the graphical editor and we start moving it around like this and now stuff happens you can see that ring is suddenly filled with all kinds of forms if you make the um, shapes it's called shapes in english i know that uh, if we make the triangle bigger you will have the changes outside this uh julia circle let's try this make it view smaller again Well, let's make it like that. Like that. Okay. So, now you have two transforms. One with Julia and one with Julian. You can then start to add more stuff. Select the layer and uh, plus X form. Uh, and uh, going with the last tutorial, if we just let that x form number 3 be uh, a linear, we can make stuff like this, or this, or we can just fill it with something else. Select it, go to variation, and it still selects it there. So it's will, it's easy to find stuff if you select it first before you switch uh, modes on the tabs up there. Let's see now. Uh, I have the linear selected and I tap change. So what would we like to do instead of a linear? Uh, how about a spherical? After a while you learn uh, what these uh, variations do. I want more headroom than two, though, so I enter 20 instead. Hmm. How about even more? 200. Hmm. 
No, that's too much. I think I want it like that, actually. And um, some of these uh, variations have uh, parameters and some of them don't. The spherical do not have any parameters at all. But what happens if we add a group? We select normal, group normal and hit the plus button and you, you get a push group. Uh, you can move it to a pre-group, like doing the hitting the upper arrow here and if you want it back to a post group you can select the normal group and move that up so let's add something there now uh, let's go for let's go for what tile HLP Ooh. Let's. What tile does is it? Is that it? Tiles. Big surprise. Uh, the variation you put it on, or if it put it in the transformer of its own, of its own, it tiles the entire fractal. That doesn't look very nice right now. Let's try to make it a pre instead didn't help much play with the play with the parameters here don't do much at all I think we skip the tile HLP and doing it from scratch is just about uh, experimenting and trying different things like this. Now, if we enter a B circle, nothing happens at all. Oh, there it is again. We have to adjust the border, border width. Well, we can have it like that. Maybe move it up a bit. I think I want to get like that with just one ring there. And I make it, I pinch with my fingers and make it a little smaller. So, uh, now we haven't done anything about uh, the colors. But you can start changing colors here by changing the color index and the color speed. I will not do that quite yet. What happens if we take the B circle and make it a, a post group instead? Did it make any change? Oh, very small change. Not much at all actually. We can try to work on the other transforms. Um, weights and powers and stuff. Uh, we had a Julian there, yes, that that one. What happens if we play around with that? I think five was rather good actually. Let's stick with five. What? But change the distance. No, let's have the distant distance one. But let's add a final uh, transform. Select the layer, hit plus final. Now you have a final there. And it comes with a linear like all the other new transforms that we make. So let's change that into a hypertile. Hypertile 2. That's one of my favorite uh, final transforms. And 
if we move the final tri uh, triangle around, see what happens. You get right now you have three copies of this. If we go back to the settings here, select the hypertile and go to all the P very uh, parameter. Uh, that decides how many repetitions you get. Let's make it five. No. Let's make it six. Like that. And if you change the Q uh, parameter, you can get slightly different results. Let's try that and start moving the final uh, transform around again. We go to the graphical editor, editor and we keep moving this triangle around. Now we beginning to get something interesting here. Like those arms, like a Octopus. Let's see, see if we can find this. Oh, that's yes. That's a good spot, right there. Let's go with that. Okay. So now you can start to set the colors here by hand if you w want to. For the uh, three uh, transforms, or you can go into the uh, variance editor now you see you get it all red or blue or yellow and stuff like that so we want to change the x form colors too now that will give you more colors no whole lot of, of other colors but still if you long press a fractal it will open up in a full screen preview well could be rather good that one but uh, let's try and change some more things here the good thing with the variance editor is that you can change many things at the same time uh, the parameters can we change we can change those too oh no that's not a very good idea at all because we have a hypertile 2 as a final transforms, a transform and hypertiles are very sensitive when it comes to changing the parameters. So let's go to target and uncheck the final. We don't want to change that one. That's more like it. Uh, we have to set this again. Oh, some, for some reason it the app doesn't remember these settings. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bug that has crept in somewhere along the process. It will be fixed eventually. Uh, well, let's find something interesting. Well, I, we don't have to go on and on and on here. I think you understand the process now. Oh, there it is. I like that one. That's really like an octopus. Put it in the among the fav favorites, and it will turn out at the bottom of the favorites. And I will try to find. I go into the variance editor again and I'll try to find better colors for that octopus. Uh, this one is better. Yep, let's go with that. I put that in the favorites too. Okay, so now we have made an, an um, uh, fractal from a fractal from from scratch and we can just fine-tune it with some zooming like this 
we don't want to go all out I think becomes too small okay so what you do uh, if you're going to here again you just try different uh, variations in this but a good place is to start with Julia and then add other stuff and you will find that the fractals you make from scratch are more uh, distinct more clear because you decide all the levels yourself when they are randomized they can be slightly off what is actually the best setting and you will get more blurry and, and chaotic fractals but making them from scratch will give you more control and you will probably get a better result okay so i say goodbye for now and looking forward to you seeing your fractals okay bye